Hello everybody, I am going to give you a mini tutorial on how to use Canva's AI, which is basically their magic studio. A key thing to remember here, whenever you see the word magic on Canva, that means that it's utilizing AI in some way. So magic switch, magic media, magic grab, magic morph, magic expand. Anything with the word magic means that it's utilizing AI. So we're just gonna kind of work our way down the list here because there are so many different features that they just released. And we're just gonna show you how to use them and see what you could use them with or for and just kind of work our way down. So first things first, you're gonna go over here to the left Magic Studio and that's gonna bring you basically to the hub of all the magic assets you can use. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is Magic Design. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And basically Magic Design is if you write anything into the search bar up here, you're gonna get graphics or templates that you can use based off what you wrote. So again, garbage in, garbage out. So if you just write here, give me a home maintenance graphic. It'll be very generic, so try to be as specific as possible because the more specific you are, the better quality template you're gonna get. So you're just gonna write here, home maintenance graphics with five tips for winter, and then you're gonna hit enter. And then here it'll generate different templates you can use. And again, they're gonna be pretty generic. You will probably have to edit them in some way if you really want them to be more specific. So if you wanna edit it, all you'd have to do is just click on whatever template you wanted to do and you can customize the text, any of the design elements to it and make it your own, add your own personalization to it. But again, it's just very easy because it gives you multiple different templates already with a basis to start on. So the next tool we're gonna try is Magic Grab. So we're gonna click that and try Magic Grab. So basically with this one, you can take any element of a photo, whether that's just the hot air balloon here that they're having us test it with, or just any element, any sort of photo, a house or a mailbox or anything, and you can edit it. So what we'll do is go ahead and click on it. So what you're gonna do is over here, you're gonna click Magic Grab, and then it's gonna just select the hot air balloon and you can move it anywhere you want inside of this photo and you can resize it, make it smaller, larger. So this is more of the design part of it. So it doesn't really automatically create anything for you besides just changing elements of a photo. So the next AI feature we're gonna use is Magic Switch. So go ahead and click on that, try Magic Switch. So this would really help you with taking one piece of content and repurposing it into multiple forms of content. So basically what you're gonna do here is you can transform any of PowerPoint design graphic into written content. If you look here at the bottom, like you'll see that they gave you a basic PowerPoint of just different things that Magic Switch can do. So if you go to the top left here and click Magic Switch, you can actually transform your document. And you can pick any of these, song lyrics, email, all text, blog post, poem, summary. So again, you're repurposing that visual content into written content. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make this into an email, and then we're gonna click Transform into Doc. And this does take a little bit, a couple of minutes. Okay, and then we're gonna click Open Doc. And see, it'll give you an entire email that you can use and send to your clients based off of the graphic or presentation or PowerPoint that you had it change. And again, you can go in here and edit the content if you feel like something isn't worded correctly. And I actually recommend you at least read through before you send it out to everybody because you just never know what AI is gonna create. But this is a really great way to repurpose your content from one simple presentation into multiple different forms of written content. So the next tool we're gonna do is Magic Expands. Basically what it does is it can create a square photo like this and fill in the gaps based on whatever size you want the photo to be. So if I wanted this photo to actually be the entire page, but the photo isn't formatted that way, I can actually have Canva fill in the blanks of what would be the top and bottom of that photo. And basically what AI is doing is just guessing as to what the top and bottom of that picture would look like and it's just filling in those gaps. And you can do that with any photo. So if you have a photo that's a square and you really want it to be the entire page, you would use this and it would fill in those gaps for you. So the next tool we're gonna do is Magic Morph. And again, there's so many different tools they release. So I believe there's 10 at least that we're gonna go over today. And again, all of them start with magic. That's how you know it's an AI feature. So again, this is another design element here. So you can take any sort of shape or letter or word and transform it into a 3D image. So you can click on the white star here and then you can change it into whatever you want it to look like. So for instance, for this example, we're gonna say we want it to be a milky lime matte balloon to match the rest of the balloons. And I'll give you a few different options here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do 
this one and you would just fill it in wherever you wanted it to go and resize it. And again, you can do this with letters, words, shapes, anything you want and make it look 3D or, or change how you want it to look. So for this next feature, it's called Magic Edit and I'm actually gonna go to a picture that I already have set up here. And I think this would be really useful to add a better feel for listing photos if you really wanted to. So let's just say I wanted to make this vase of pink flowers into a vase of red roses. So what you're gonna do is over here on the left, you're gonna click Magic Edit and you're just gonna highlight that whole flower vase. Click Continue and then describe exactly what you want to change your ad. So I want this to be a vase of red roses and I'm gonna click Generate. And you can kind of pick and choose which you think looks better in terms of the lighting and everything. If you wanted to take a stack of dirty dishes on the countertop and you wanted to make it into a toaster or another vase of flowers, you could. I think this would really help with any listing photos you have that didn't necessarily turn out the way you wanted them to or there were certain things laying out that you just didn't think was appropriate, you can easily change them into something else. So the next element that I also think goes hand in hand with this is the magic eraser tool. So basically this can remove any item in the photo that you don't want to be in there and it'll fill in the gaps based off what else is around that image. So let's just say I don't want these two gray block things in this photo anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight them. And it removed it. Obviously it doesn't look fantastic, so you kinda have to play with it and keep highlighting stuff and seeing if it'll get rid of the shadow or whatever else is left over from before. But it'll still remove that image from that photo. You just kinda have to play with it, highlight stuff, keep messing with it until it gets to where you like it. So the next tool we're gonna do is Magic Edit. So basically with Magic Edit, you can type in anything you want and it'll create either an image or a video for you to use in your design. Let's just say I really need a video of a suburban house with a red car in the driveway. I don't know why you need that, but. All right, let's see what video it gave me. So there you go, suburban house with a red car in the driveway. It kind of looks cartoonish. So I think depending on what you would write and how specific you are would depend on what this looks like. Um, you probably could find a better video unless you specifically wanted a red car in the driveway. You probably could find a better video than this. But hey, it gave me a, exactly what I asked for, a suburban house with a red car in the driveway. So the next tool, I think we're on number eight, uh, is gonna be Magic Write. So try Magic Write. So basically Magic Write, let's just say you wrote a paragraph or something and you really don't like how it was phrased, you can either have it extend what you were saying so you can have it continue to write, summarize it, rewrite it, make it more fun, more formal, sprinkle fairy dust. I'm a little intrigued by the sprinkle fairy dust, so I'm gonna click on that and just see what happens. Okay, so mainly like kind of renaissance-y. Um, but yeah, if you write something and it just seems too formal and you wanna make it more funny, summarize it or have it more lengthy, this would be really good for writing blog posts or writing emails, like I said. I'm a little bit curious to see how this would match up with ChatGPT. So I took our introductory paragraph from our company website and I'm gonna try and make it more funny or more fun. I'm gonna see what it gives me. It's like a GPS leading you straight to victory with top-notch connections, cutting edge technology. I don't hate that, I really don't. So now I'm gonna try it with ChatGPT, make this more fun. You know what, I'm gonna side with Canva on this one because Canva seemed a lot more unique. This seems very corny and hokey. So I'm gonna say Canva has the win for this one. So last but not least, we we're gonna do Magic Animate. And I think this is pretty useful for making your content more engaging and eye-catching if you really don't wanna film a video because this will just animate the entire graphic for you. So all you would do is click whatever style you wanted Again, it'd be useful for presentations. Again, if you wanted to take your Instagram graphic and make it more eye-catching and engaging, you can also use it for this if you don't want to film a video. So that is pretty much every product that they have released with Magic Studio on Canva. Again, there's so many different ways that you could use this for. You could use it to repurpose content, to create more content. Really, it's just a time saver, I think, and I'm definitely gonna be messing around with it myself. I say just mess around with it and see what happens. Have a good day, you guys.